How far have you gone for beauty? Um, uh, like what I got done? Have you ever had any cosmetic procedures? Yeah, I got my, I got butt shots, I got implants, and I got a tummy tuck. Now, when it comes to all these procedures you just named, you are open about that. Yeah, I'm very open. And why are you? Because there are some that aren't. Um, I'm open about it because, I, I mean, it's obvious. That's one. And I'm just a very real person. I don't like to hide anything. I like to be as truthful as possible. So if I can help other girls or whatever the case may be, I'm going to do it. Now, do you remember the order in which you got these procedures done in your life? Yeah, I did my butt first, I did my boobs, and then I did my tummy tuck after my daughter. And care to share what age you were when you received the first procedure? Um, 20, 20, 20, 20 years old. And care to share the reason for each procedure? Um, I did butt shots because, um, I don't know, I just always wanted a silhouette body. And I felt like I had a real big issue with gaining weight when I was younger. I was always 105 pounds, 110 pounds, and I couldn't get out of that weight. So I just wanted to feel sexy at least a little bit, and that helped that. That's why I did my butt. Um, I did my boobs, honestly, because um, I got cheated on. And for the first time, and the girl had way bigger boobs than me. And I just felt like, damn, I have beautiful boobs, by the way, but they were really, really small. So the girl just had super big boobs. And she told me that my man had her titties in her mouth. So I was like, you know what? I want to have my, my titties in my mouth, too, even though I already did. But yeah. <laughs> and then um, I did my tummy tuck because I had a kid. Now, just going back the first procedure, care to share that age one more time? 20. Reflecting back on how everything panned out, did you get any of these procedures at the right ages in your life? Um, at the right age, I would say probably no, but I don't really regret it. I don't really regret it. None of them? None of them. Now, have you physically fully recovered from all these procedures at this point? Yes. Did you have any complications with any of them? Um, no. Oh, well, with well, my boobs, um, when I got them done, one was like harder than the other for a really long time. And it was like super big. They was, nobody noticed though, except for like my man at the time, but they were like really big and I didn't like them. And then when I ended up doing my tummy tuck, I did everything at once. I did like a whole mind makeover. So just to be specific, you got the boobs touched up again? Again, yeah. And was it just a lift? Was it no, something taken out to, and replaced? I had to take out my implant or that I had already had, and I had to um, do a lift as well. And was this for a bigger size, same size, or no, smaller? No, it was smaller. Care to share what? Care to share the history of the sizes? So your original size? My original size was supposed to be a full B, but he did a full C. And then I went down to a B, but I feel like they might be a little smaller, but sometimes they vary, I don't know. They do what they wanna. And before you had any procedures, what were you naturally size-wise? I was a, a double A cup, I think, or an A cup. Not a double, I'm dragging it. I was an A cup. Now, that scenario that you just described with the breast augmentation the very first time where uh, it was bigger than what it was supposed to be, one was a little harder than it was supposed to be, uh, what, did the, what was your doctor's reaction to these complaints that you had over it? That is going to get better, and it never did. So they was lying the ass off, so then I just had to go do it again. And was there any money back because of these issues? Was there? No, cause he didn't mind. He didn't mind for a cheaper price. He didn't mind for like he was just hyped to do it, and he wasn't even. I didn't really do my. I didn't do the research I was supposed to do for my body 
well, for my boobs, the first time I got them done because I wanted to do them so fast. It wasn't until after I had my kid that I wanted my body to look a certain way, and I was older, and so I just wanted it to be exactly what I wanted it to be. So I waited uh, three years, and I found the right doctor. I had to go through a few doctors before I got to my doctor, and then I went with the best doctor that was able to do both. And when you say three years, three years after you had your child? After my daughter, yeah. Now, there's a debate on getting cosmetic procedures inside versus outside the United States. Where do you stand on that? Well, I went to Miami. So I was always a little... The first time I went to get my boobs in, I went to Columbia. And then I went to Miami the second time when I did my tummy tuck and my boobs at the same time. I like Miami, but if you want to get a silhouette, super, super, super silhouette, I say go to DR. Mm. Care to share the names of the doctors for any of these procedures? Um, I don't remember the doctor from my boobs the first time. Um, I really don't remember his name. The second doctor I went to that did my boobs again and did my tummy tuck, my mommy makeover, his name is Enrique Hanberg, Miami. And why did you choose that doctor in particular? Um, I didn't choose him because of the boobs. He's oh, pretty okay at boobs. But I chose him because I did a tummy tuck, and everyone knows that a tummy tuck is a very serious surgery. So um, he did great work on tummy tucks, and he did my tummy tuck amazing. And I get a lot of compliments on it. So. And care to share your personal review on this doctor? He's nice. He's dope. He's cool. And did you feel like you got the results you wanted? Definitely. And for transparency, when it came to any of these procedures, was it something that you paid for or was any of it for promo perhaps? No, I paid for everything. Care to share how much any of this cost you back then in those days? You asking me how much everything cost me? or any of them that you're willing to share? Everything. I would say my butt shots cost me probably like, I mean, I did it in increments. So it probably altogether cost me like 3,000, 4,000. And then my boobs the first time was 2,500. And then when I got my tummy tuck and my boots together, it was 9,500, I wanna say. The 9,500, was that amount of money you spent worth it? Absolutely. Now, you've mentioned that you've had your body done on a post on your Instagram, for example, mm -hmm. as a caption mm -hmm. uh, to a photo. And for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share your screen name on IG? Uh, my Instagram name is Real Ashley Burgos. Now, have you shared your journeys with any of these procedures, all these procedures with your social media following? Um, yeah, definitely. I shared, as soon as I was done getting my surgery, my tummy tuck and my boobs, my, my makeover, I posted like a week after to show my recovery and stuff. And I showed them my body before and why I had to do what I had to do. So I was, I'm very open to what I talk about. And speaking of your social media, how did you organize your social media after these different procedures in your life? Were you the type that would archive old photos of you with the way your body previously looked before the new procedure? Or would you just keep everything intact? I keep it back. I keep pre it and after. If I archive a photo, it's because I don't like it. But it's never because I'm trying to, no. I just, if it look cute, it stays. If it's on, it gotta go. Now, do you feel like you've received more opportunities or have been more successful in your career because of these procedures? Um, I wouldn't know because I did it so young. I wasn't really on Instagram like that before I had my body done. I was, but I wasn't really, I, my name wasn't really, no one really knew me, so I don't know. Okay, now winding down the questions here, I just want to ask you these questions overall speaking. 
what did this entire experience teach you? What did you learn from all of this body work? Uh, that you have to take your time with your body, that your body is a temple and you just have to take care of it inside and out. No regrets, but do you miss your natural body at all? I do. I do. The entire body, certain body parts? Mm -mm, I miss it all. I do. I really do. Now, you've mentioned this throughout this conversation, but wanted to sum this up here. Circumstances could be different for everyone. So generally speaking, but any tips, any tricks, any advice for someone thinking about cosmetic procedures? Take your time. You gotta take your time. You gotta find your doctor. People are dying. You have to take your time. You gotta find the right doctor. If, even if you think you found the right doctor, just wait. Wait it out. See what they got going on. Keep doing your research until you find another one. And at least have three, and then just like wear it out. Like, all right, I don't like this one. I'm more cool. I'm gonna go with this one. Anything else you want to mention about cosmetic procedures? No. All right. And did want to follow up with one more question mm -hmm. on this topic. You mentioned death. Are there people you know personally that have died from cosmetic procedures? No, not anyone I know personally.